You know, it's been said dogs are man's best friends. Well, in this case, it's quite true. The Maltese Yorkshire Terrier you're about to meet not only revved up his owner's social life, he's now raking in big bucks on Instagram. Here's another installment of our series, Social Stars. This is Herman. He's a one-year-old Maltese Yorkie. He loves running, snacking. Good boy. And hoodies. There it is. Oh yeah, he also likes posing for photos, of course. Herman is what you'd call a doggy influencer. Modeling urban streetwear has garnered him more than 40,000 followers on Instagram and made him the furry face of big name sponsors like IMs, Caesar, and Vans. <laughs> it's turned this four pound furry ball of cuteness into a social media celebrity. Let's change. Herman's owner, David Yip, a 37 year old bachelor, an overworked sales manager who says this little pooch changed his life. He's the first dog I've ever had. I was in a client's office last year. They asked me to dog sit for a couple of weeks when they went on a family vacation. And when he had to go home, I was kind of, you know, a little bummed out, but I found a breeder and I got very lucky. He was the last one left out of the litter. David rediscovered his youthful love of photography. I started taking a lot of pictures of him. This is Herman as a two pound puppy. Those pictures started getting popular with my friends, so I started his own Instagram. People started liking it online. Boom, an Instagram star is born. It's the secret sauce to social success. Mix one part adorable pet, two parts cute clothing, and three parts great lighting. And voila, a pic made for Instagram. Of course, you have to top it all off with a world-class caption game. Hey, what's cooking? Posing with Grey Goose? Who wants to potty with me? Sitting at the Nightline anchor desk? Really? You have to be this cute all the time? Good captioning is really important. It's telling a story. It's still giving somebody else sort of that extra reason to tune in. Kyla Brennan runs Hello Society, an agency that represents social media stars of all kinds. Why are we obsessed with animals on social media? People have this physiological reaction to cute. I mean, it elicits these, like, actual warm, fuzzy feelings in us. It was Kyla's team that discovered David and Herman in Toronto. How can you not look at Herman and just love him? He's this little tiny adorable fluff ball that wears hoodies. And how does somebody like David get big? One of the things that we see in a lot of these pet influencers, their owners are incredible photographers. The sets and the stories and every photo is really different. But keeping it going means capitalizing on Herman's up and coming stardom. Does Grumpy Cat and Jif Palm ring a bell? They can fetch major deals for their loving owners. Of course, when you get to be a top dog in the doggy influencer market, you get the glam treatment, cocktail hours, and the finest doggy treats money can buy. And rubbing elbows, as it were, with golden doodles in spiffy suits, puppies in pumped up kicks, and rocker dogs in bark Sabbath jean jackets. These dogs on the catwalk, famous in their own right, each of them sporting an impressive social media following. This is Iggy Joey. She has 35,000 followers on Instagram. 84,000 followers. 127,000 followers. And even though they're just starting out, David says Herman's Instagram presence has brought in deals close to $10,000. But for David, Herman is enriching his life in ways money can't buy. Herman uh, definitely helped me get away from my workaholism. Just you and I, just Herman and I, we're going to take on the world, right, buddy? Herman, you want to go walk? Helping him rediscover old passions, then sprucing up his social life. You'd be nice. Does it concern you at all that people might be going out and, and grabbing pets just to try to turn them into insta-famous pets? It's very hard to make an animal famous on Instagram. It's a full-time job. Could it really be that hard to make cute animals famous? I posed a hypothetical challenge. Could they make a star out of my one-year-old Labradoodle, Hershey? What's step one in Hershey dominating the world? She's already got step one covered in that she is insanely adorable. <laughs> Number two, a good grooming. Okay, come on. Hershey, let's go. Hi, how are you? You're going in a Labradoodle, you're gonna come out a star. Time for a bath. Right now, she doesn't want to be internet famous. I guess that's just what it takes to be a social media star. She's all glammed up and ready to go. Look out, world, here we come. My Hershey, in all her fluffy cuteness, seems more interested in chilling than stardom. This is why she can't be insta-famous. She doesn't take commands. <laughs> 
You're the perfect dog. You even pooped. This is why I love you. Ah, oh, well, it's a dog's life. <laughs>